Hi, Rusty Cooper Voices Blades. Sorry, I haven't been on video YouTube very much over August, but we've had a bit of a, a car fiasco. Uh, my lady's jazz has been in the garage for all but three days of August, September. Uh, we just picked it up today, so we've been doing more uh, ferrying than I wanted to do, but um, I've been doing my hours later in the evening. So I've done as much as I can, but the runaround has been a bit of a mind bender. Um, just showcase a few knives that are uh, completed. Uh, one that's going to be away early next week, um, and two that could be offered up, obviously through the, the list of uh, yeah, the general queue, as it were. Um, first up, this is for Sean, Sean Reed, and it's a uh, it's a very plain sort of sheath that he was after. It's about as, it's about as basic as I can do it. Um, so no tooling, no huge great uh, Spartan uh, motif. All he was after was a little maker's mark which is there. What a dangler. There's a dangler on the back. And he wanted a ferro rod on the side for still. Uh, you can see the stitching. Light in here is awful as ever. But yeah. And uh, I want to put my hand up against Sean's. He's a bit of a beast, this guy. So he's got oversized scales. And uh, I managed to. It's what they call book matching. I do it on the backs of guitars. So with the circular saw, I was able to, to get a decent match from one side of the piece of stock of wood I had to the other. Got red liners, and this is walnut root. It wasn't the easiest thing in order to get a hold of. Uh, but there's a Dane Law in oversized scales for Sean. And that was his full set as it is there. Pretty plain brown. I've got this one I'll be offering up next week. just want to get a weekend out of the way to be honest. Um, it's, a, it's a Hearn roll. So it's my sort of hunter bushcrafter. Got some nice sported looking scales there. Usual brass tube pins. Black liners also to go with the carrots of the wood. Ever so light. Because this is not a new version. These are skeletonized through the stock of the handle. So uh, these have been rationalised a lot of the way that um, people drill for um, lightness and uh, glue bonding. Um, sometimes like, holes are very close together, sometimes there's too much hole at the centre point. This has been thought out and spaced out so that it's still pretty damn strong like an I-beam or an RSJ. Um, so I really haven't sacrificed strength or integrity for lightness and fruit gluing. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of people do drilling holes and you know, it's pretty pretty uh, thin there at certain points so it's not like that in toy inside. Okay so let's look at the scales. Uh, got a Spartan head on that one. Turnover sheath flap top thing and found a piece of wood to sort of match the head on. Yep so that'll be offered next week. Uh, yeah. Double row, sweet. We got stitching on that. Uh, each one of those sort of saddle stitch effect through stitching is double loop knot and then held tight inside. And then this is the one that had the swedge end, the lecou. So there's lecou. Insane handle, just insane. Got some smoky, smoky look to it. Beautiful. And then that at the front. Not the best battener in the world, but it's just a nice, uh, a nice outcome for something that I touched on the belt. So, got something nice and pretty out of it. Brass pins. Solid ones and then a lanyard chew. And then the sheaf is just nothing special. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, so gone for it. Got sort of the Nordic, Viking, Celtic not effects. And first to me, I've put a little bit of patterning on the belt loop at the back. No point going too crazy because it's on the rear, which just puts a little bit of character to it. Uh, just to prove I do like to put in as much as I can into my builds, just to set me apart from plain sheath, plain front, all that sort of uh, wood lore esque offerings everywhere else. Um, so, yeah, so there's that one. He's in 4 mil, 52 and under it, partial bane on heat treat. Yeah, so he's offered up next week and uh, yeah so, so nice sort of plain sheet thanks a lot see you on the next one it's got always explains so sean i'll get in contact with you um monday or something i just want to set up the next batch because i've got some other stuff arriving so plans always looking forward as i say constantly each each delivery, each new batch, I'm trying to move the whole brand forward. So sheaves have been lifted, whatever. The next thing I'm trying to do is get blades, natural knife itself, um, lifted in a way to just just keep raising the bar. Let's got my Wessex blades out. Till next one.